Marvin, my man, how's it going? Connor Holt here with Wilson Motor. Just wanted to put a face to the name so you know who you've been talking to via text and email and all that good old stuff about this beautiful 2019 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. That is a Rubicon and very fancy. So let me just flip this around. We'll get going to this walk around video for you, man. I just took this whole video and then I realized I wasn't even recording. So that's really kind of embarrassing. So here we go again. I'm going to start from the beginning. I am recording. We're good to go. And here we go. Up here on the front, there are some fancy things to look at. First off, you're going to notice we have some bright LED lights. These are going to be bright white ones that are going to make everybody mad that when you're driving in front of them or behind them, they're there in front of you because they're nice and bright, but you will be able to see everything. It's going to be great. On top of that, there are additional lights in this vehicle. You can see we have these flares on the sides. They have lights. You're going to have a light bar right here on this Westin front bumper. Um, and then you have the winch down here as well. Obviously, you got the Jeep grill. You got these cool little air vents up here to keep the engine cooler as well. You got the big Rubicon painted on the side. And you have these awesome fancy new wheels and tires. So the wheels, were they did come with the trade-in, but we did actually change out these tires. We swapped them for Bronco tires because we are a Ford dealership here technically. We had some Bronco takeoffs. The tires that were left on here before were all weather cracked and just not doing very good. So we got some brand new ones on here ready to go off-roading. As you can see, they've got a ton of tread because they've got little rocks that are already stuck in them and they are great. As for the wheels, you got the XD series and they're beautiful. They're great looking. They are the aluminum alloy. They will not rust. They are ready to rock and roll and be used everywhere you go. Another fancy feature is you can see right back in there, you got Fox shots on here. And so they are gonna be ready to go off-roading and they are great shocks to help you out with that. Um, if you notice in the pictures that you see on the website, there are steps that come down here. These were used to be automatic steps, but the motors had gone bad. We could not get them replaced. And so over the weekend, one of the reasons why it was not here and I wasn't able to get a video for you sooner is because we actually had them welded, as you can see. They just got up here, they got welded shut. Uh, now they will be used to protect your vehicle when you are off-roading. So if you happen to hit a rock, it's going to hit the rock slide here. It's going to hit that and not your Jeep and it will protect your Jeep there. So it's gonna be pretty good. There is also a little bit of a lift on this. If you can tell the difference in size between this red one and this gray one, this one is higher. So that way you can see that. I, I do have to climb into it, I'm a little bit taller. Back here in the back, you do have another Weston bumper here. So it is another off-roading bumper. You have lights on this as well. This, you have the full size spare tire with the off road or with the XC series wheel first off. So you can see that, so it's not like a, just a random, so kind of different like that one where you have the sport wheel and then you have the off roading wheels or the aftermarket wheels. This is the exact same one as the other ones. And so if you happen to have to swap this one on, it'll still look like all the other, all the other ones you have on there. There's also a backup camera right here so that way you can see what's behind you and go from there. Uh, inside the back here. You can see I already got you some chips. That way you can have some chips installed. So when you buy a brand new Jeep, just kidding, I'll probably give that to our detailer and make sure you can do a good job detailing this because it has not yet been detailed. So please don't judge me for that. I typically don't show vehicles I haven't been detailed, but I wanted to get this walk around video for you. You do have a 12 volt charger back here for charging. You can see here we have the Alpine sound system. So a pretty good sound system there as well. Um, I believe there's a little extra storage under here. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Enough to store something hide something under there. Um, it is a hard top and obviously as a Jeep, you know, you can have this removed, you can take it off and then you can be riding without the top on there. Gas is gonna be here on the left side of the vehicle. Just flip that open, you can pull it out and refuel up. Here in the back seat, we have these mesh pockets. There's four of them. You got two on each door and you got two on both driver and passenger seat. And then you have this other little system here that you can like, 3d print something and hang it on there or you could put like pens and pencils down in there to hide them in there just kind of a little fancy way to do it yourself instead of only have a pocket then you have fabric seats in here as you can see if you want you can drop these down this will drop the headrest this will drop the actual seat all the way down it can go all the way down flat just like that throw it back up nice and easy there um then you're going to have air vents right here which you can open up for those who are in the back they have their window controls. They're gonna have a USB-C and a USB. There's two of them for each size for charging. And then you have a 12 volt charger right there. And the cup holders are right down here on the bottom. Up here in the front, let's go over some of these bells and whistles here. So 
we're gonna have the mirror controls and the door locks right here. I believe there's another place for, to lock the doors. Well, I guess there wouldn't be another place because you take the doors off and then you don't have to lock anything. So that is where you don't lock the doors. Your headlight controls are gonna be here. This would be the, the lights for inside the vehicle and the brightness of your display for both the display and center console display there. Then if we go over to right here, you're gonna see we have a TPMS light on. It is our front right tire. It's a little low and needs to be pumped up so I can get that pumped up for you. But let's kind of go over all of our controls. You got the RPMs on the left side. You got your, which, if you're four wheel or two wheel drive there, neutral, things like that, ready to flat tow. You have all the system or the vehicle information in here. For example, fuel, engine temperature, and you can change like your battery. You can change a whole bunch of different views, your oil life, the oil PCI or PSI. You can change it down here to off road. You go fuel economy, trip info, and so forth. You can go all the way down and kind of just play around with it and have a lot of information there. As you can see, we've got the 36,703 miles on there. And then you can see we have the temperature outside, what direction we're going. So a lot of cool information right there. And you go over to the right side, we're gonna show that the lights are on and you also have the speed there. So that's where you're gonna look at that. If we come back over here to our steering wheel, let's move over here first. We're gonna have the blinkers and the brights right here on the left side. All of your wiper controls will be on the right side. The media controls are actually on the back side of the steering wheel. I believe you have the seek of changing songs on the left side and changing your media, and then the volume is on the right side. Then this will change all the information right here in the center cluster. These are your phone controls, and this is gonna be the cruise control here. The uh, radio options, you can, it is touch screen, so you can sit here and you can play with that. You can go look at all of your apps and you can change things around, whatever you want up here. You can move them down here, kind of cool option there. It's a 19, so it should have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It'll just change your phone into that option once you plug it in to the media right down here, which has a USB and a USB-C. These are all of our climate controls with heated steering wheel and heated seat for driver and passenger. Then you're gonna have a mute for your music. This turns your auto start stop, stop feature on and off. Your traction control, downhill assist, and this will turn your screen off just like that. Then you will have your hazard lights right there. These are gonna be your window controls and you can lock those windows as well. Like I said, you have charging options there. You have a 12 volt charger here. This is gonna have off-roading features down here for your locking and rear differentials, your sway bar, and your off-roading accessories. Uh, will be there with those four auxiliary options to turn on and off. Here's how you're gonna get into manually four wheel drive. This is how you're gonna change into your gear here. You can swap over the manual side too and go up and down. And if we go into reverse, this shows you your backup camera with predictive lines. So as you turn the vehicle, it's gonna show you where your vehicle is going to be moving to. So that way you don't hit anything, anyone or any other cars and stuff like that. This is what our key is. We have a push start as you can see right here. So you don't actually even need this. This is more of a door key in case if your battery dies, you can open up the vehicle. Then you're gonna have unlock, lock, remote start, and the alarm on there. And you have a great place to store it right there so it doesn't get lost. Your handbrake is there. Your center storage, you got two. You got one little one on top, and you got a big one in there with another 12, or not 12 volt, but a uh, USB charger in there. There is not actually a manual for this vehicle. So that's something we would have to get from Jeep. Um, up here, you do have a uh, your garage door settings so you can hook up your garage door to the vehicle not have to have an additional fob Then you have your SOS and assist options right here too if you happen to need uh, roadside assistance while you are out driving the vehicle and that my friend would be the Jeep for you it is not detailed I'm sorry about that I typically do not show undetailed vehicles but like I said I wanted to get this walk around for you because we have not had a chance to I, I had, a, had all weekend to get it to you and haven't had a chance to detail it. So it'll be, it's on the list to be detailed, I believe, tomorrow or Wednesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow or Thursday. Hopefully it should be done tomorrow. But um, it is the beautiful gray, that like the matte gray that in the Fords and Nissans that we sell here at our store, it goes super fast. And I know there's been a couple of people that have already driven it and tried to look at it before we had it gone for the weekend. So there's a lot of interest in it, but if you have any questions additional onto what I just showed you with all the features and things that are on this Jeep, let me know. Hopefully we can, we can get to something and we'll get you here to take you for a test drive. Thanks, man. Hope to hear from you soon.